With the world experiencing a rapid change in its climate thanks to humans burning dinosaur juice and just consuming more stuff, many of the world's nations have turned their attention towards renewable energy, like solar power, hydropower and wind power, in order to reduce their carbon footprint. As a result, these industries have experienced phenomenal growth over the last couple of decades, and in some countries they even generate more electricity than fossil fuels. In this video, we're going to take a look at the wind power industry, how it came to be, is it a major player, and in which direction is the industry heading. But first, let's take a brief look at the history. The idea of harnessing the power of the wind is not exactly new. In fact, sailboats are believed to have first been used before 5000 BC in the Middle East. And in the last two millennia, humans have been using wind-powered machines to grind grain and pump water. Just ask the Dutch. But for the purpose of this video, our story starts in the late 19th century, when the first wind turbine used for the production of electricity was built, therefore carrying out the same function as the large wind turbines of today, killing birds. The individual accredited with such milestone in wind power production was this man, Professor James Blythe of Scotland. Unfortunately for Professor Blythe though, his invention never caught on, as the technology behind his wind turbine was considered not economically viable. However, little would he know that in the following decades the idea of generating electricity from wind was present in the minds of other inventors across the globe, such as Charles F. Brush of the USA and Paul Lacour of Denmark, who were both responsible for constructing their own wind turbines before the closing of the century. Throughout the 20th century, the development of the wind power industry can be split into two phases. The first from 1900 to 1973, and the second from 1973 onwards, when oil went stonks. During the first phase of development, there was an increasingly widespread use of individual wind generators, usually located on farms, for lighting and charging batteries, as these farms weren't located on national electricity grids. One country that caught on to the wind power production trend relatively quickly was Denmark, which by 1908 had 72 wind-driven generators, with the largest of which being 24 metres high. As for the second phase of development, the USA's NASA played a significant role. At the time, the price of oil had risen considerably, and the US government was looking for alternative ways to generate electricity. So, from 1974 it began to work with the industry to advance current wind power technology, and it did a great job. The research from its development programs, funded by the National Science Foundation and the United States Department of Energy, pioneered many of the multi-megawatt turbine technologies that are still in use today, such as the aerodynamic design and the composite blade materials. In the 21st century though, the wind power industry has really become a genuine alternative source of energy for nations around the world, as incremental efficiencies, over a century now, have led to a much better and cheaper product. And with concerns about energy security, global warming and eventually exhausting the planet's fossil fuels, the industry has never had so much attention and investment, bringing us to the position in which the industry finds itself in today. Globally, there are more than 1.1 million jobs in the wind power industry, which consists of those employed in the construction, maintenance, design and manufacturing of wind turbines. This figure has grown rapidly in recent years and will continue to do so as an increasing number of wind energy projects are realised throughout the world. In 2019 alone, 60.4 gigawatts of wind energy capacity was installed globally, representing a 19% increase in installed capacity compared to the previous year and a 10% increase in total wind energy capacity, which now stands at some 651 gigawatts. This is a really impressive figure, considering that just a decade ago, the total wind energy capacity was less than a quarter of what it is today. The rapid growth in the wind power industry today is not just the result of the global push to protect the environment and to improve national energy security, not at all. You see, it's also a result of the economics. 
The price of generating electricity via wind power has fallen drastically in the last decade and is now competitive with coal and natural gas. In fact, depending on where you are watching this video from, it may already be cheaper to generate electricity by wind. This is a trend that is expected to see wind energy undercut coal and gas almost everywhere in the world by 2030 and would also see the share of wind and solar energy reach 48% of the total global energy mix by 2050. Despite this though, not all countries are as invested in the wind power industry as others and investment across certain regions varies greatly. It may be of no surprise to some to hear that the top three countries with regards to current capacity of wind energy and added capacity of wind energy in recent years are China, the USA and Germany. All three of these countries are world leaders in their own respects when it comes to the manufacturing, installation and operation of wind turbines and wind farms. In 2019, they were home to 61.9% of the global wind production capacity, with China making up the lion's share. This is without a doubt an achievement, but by no means a surprise given that they are the world's first, second and fourth largest economies. One nation though that punches above its weight in the wind power industry is the small European nation of Denmark. Despite its small population of 5.8 million people, ranking it 115th globally, Denmark has been a bit of a trendsetter. It may rank 15th with regards to its wind power capacity in 2019, which is still very impressive for a small nation, but back in 2006 it ranked 4th, with more than 4 times the capacity of China and 3 times the capacity of the UK. The commitment by the Danes to invest in the wind power industry so early on has made it a key exporter of wind turbine technology and is even home to the world's largest wind turbine manufacturer, Vestas, whose revenue was over 12 billion euros in 2019. In fact, the Danish wind industry is so impressive that last year it sourced nearly half of its electricity needs solely from wind. With all that said though, there is still a long way for the global wind industry to go if it is to help prevent the world from becoming a fiery ball of fire. With wind turbine manufacturers continuing to innovate and in turn bring down the cost of harnessing wind energy, the future for the industry looks very bright. Across the globe, employment in the wind power industry is expected to hit 6 million people by 2050 from its current 1.1 million. And with the prices continuing to fall, more projects like the UK's first subsidy free wind farm are expected to spring up around the globe, representing a key cost efficiency breakthrough. In the USA alone, wind capacity is expected to grow from its current 113 gigawatts in 2020 to 404 gigawatts in 2050. The importance of offshore wind, which has been more expensive than onshore wind, coming down in price has opened the door to many opportunities around the world, and one opportunity in particular is located in Northern Europe. You see, located in Northern Europe is the North Sea, a sea of the Atlantic Ocean located between Norway, the UK, Denmark, France, Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands. The North Sea is notoriously windy and has shallow waters, making it an ideal location for offshore wind turbines. All this in combination with a steep fall in the price of offshore wind energy, along with large-scale investments, both private and public, has seen a series of wind farm projects in the North Sea, which has the potential to supply 80% of Europe's expected electricity demand in 2030, although it is more likely to supply 8% with the current projects underway. This is just one of many examples of how countries will be able to take advantage of wind power technology to generate electricity to keep their nation's lights on in a greener and cleaner future. The wind power industry is an up and coming force to be reckoned with. It's experienced rapid growth especially over the last two decades and has allowed us to dream about a world in which a sizable portion of our electricity demands will be generated cleanly. With even more impressive growth still expected to take place over the coming decades, it is without a doubt that the wind power industry will have a growing impact on our economies. 
Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video about the wind power industry, let me know by subscribing and smashing that like button below. Also, do you think that wind power will be as central to the future of the energy sector as many predict? Well, don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments section below as well. Otherwise, take care. Bye.